Turning next to new home construction in Ontario that we've learned has slowed dramatically. The latest monthly numbers show fewer housing starts than six years ago, and experts anticipate the slowdown to continue. Let's bring in our senior reporter at Queen's Park, Mike Crawley. Hey there, Mike. Walk us through the key figures here. Okay, uh, Chris, we're talking about housing starts, which is, uh, like it sounds, when new construction begins on a new home. And that's the key stat that uh, gives you a sense of what's going on in the industry. It's also the key metric that the government, the, the Doug Ford government, is measuring uh, when it comes to their target of one and a half million new homes. Uh, so uh, the latest figures are from April. And across Ontario, those housing starts were down a whopping 37% from April of last year. Uh, it's also the lowest numbers for any April since 2018. Chris, how long ago was that? That's when Kathleen Wynne's Liberals were still in power in this province. Uh, so you've had construction begin on less than, fewer than 5,600 homes uh, last month, and the industry is really feeling it. I spoke with the head of ResCon, that's the Residential Construction Council of Ontario. His name is Richard Lyle. They also have fallen dramatically. Starts are falling. Uh, housing supply is going to fall, and it's going to get worse. Uh, that's just the way it is. But sometimes you you got to hit you got to hit the bottom before you can start building back up again. And we haven't hit the bottom yet. And this wasn't just a one month blip. If you actually look at the first three months of the year the number of single detached homes uh, that were started across Ontario uh, in, that, in that first quarter of the year, it's only been lower in the first quarter of the year twice uh, since uh, the beginning of the century, Chris. Okay, Mike, I, I don't get it here because we have premiers and mayors all over the place saying that they want to get the housing starts up. So why is all of this happening? Yeah, well, uh, what this really shows you, Chris, is that for all the talk about how uh, we're in a housing crisis, uh, an affordability crisis, and how you know the housing supply needs to be built back up, look, uh, the supply of new housing is very much at the whim of market forces. Uh, so interest rates are a big deal here. It's not just about interest rates for people who want to go and buy a new home, obviously that's playing into, a, into it in terms of the demand. You know, there are fewer sales of new homes happening uh, because of that. So pre-sale construction, that's being driven down because of the interest rates, but also developers, they're doing the math, they're seeing this lower demand, and they're also looking at the affordability of financing their own projects. Here's Scott Anderson, he's Chief Executive Officer of the Ontario Home Builders Association. It's, it's uh, sometimes forgotten that the developers are also having to arrange financing uh, for these large scale projects. So they have to factor that in as well. And when uh, a developer who, you know, our, our members live in the communities that they're building these homes for, so they're aware of what uh, consumer demand and appetite, but also financial thresholds uh, might be. So when they start looking at that, some projects that uh, on the drawing board looked really good uh, may no longer be as viable as they once were. And what's that mean? Uh, you've got a bunch of projects being put on hold. There's a condo market research firm called Urban Nation. They say developers have put 60 new projects on hold indefinitely across the GTA. You're, you're talking about 21,000 housing units that are on pause. All right, Mike. So that first expert that you shared with us, he was saying that you got to hit the bottom before you can see things improve. So what are you seeing in terms of the forecast for the rest of this year? It doesn't look good, Chris. Uh, no sign of things getting any better. The Canada Mortgage and Housing Corporation, they expect housing starts to continue to trend down in the province, particularly here in the GTA. Uh, TD Economics, they're predicting this is part of a national trend, that housing starts nationally are continuing to uh, go down throughout the remainder of the year. The real thing that people are waiting for is whether interest rates will drop and that that might help things pick up. Okay, Mike, and what does this all mean for the Ford government's target of building 1.5 million new homes? Uh, it really doesn't look good. Uh, you know, fell short of what they needed on, a, on an annual basis in the first couple of years. We're now here in the third year of that, of that program. Uh, the forecast uh, looks to be uh, that there's going to be even fewer homes built uh, this year than there were in those first two years. And the government's own projections for the next couple of years suggests that they're well off that pace. So I think that one and a half million new homes target is pretty ambitious at the moment. 
All right, Mike, thank you so much for this news and all your analysis. Appreciate it.